What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Trailer Box, and today we're going to be talking about perks of being a wildflower. Now this trailer came out yesterday uh, during the MTV Movie Awards, although they didn't show it during the MTV Movie Awards, which I thought they were, um, so MTV misled me there, so I just basically wasted all my time watching the MTV Movie Awards yesterday. The only good part about it was Harry Potter won Best Cast, Jennifer Lawrence won uh, Best Female Role, Josh Hutcherson won Best Male Role, and I think, oh, and the Dark Knight Rises clips. Other than that, you know, it was pretty shit, but I'm not here to talk about the MTV Movie Awards, I'm here to talk about the Perks of Being a Wildflower trailer, which came out on YouTube today, I believe, and I just wa I just watched it today, and I gotta say, you know, like The Great Gatsby, I've never read the book, although a lot of people tell me it's a really, really great book, and people are really excited for this movie, and I kind of am too, it looks like a really inspirational movie, with the music and the tone that the trailer is giving out. Um, Logan Lerman, um, this other guy, and of course, Emma Watson. Um, so the cast is I'm familiar with, except for the third guy, which I'm not sure his name exactly, so forgive me for not remembering. Um, Logan Lerman, um, I've only seen him in Percy Jackson and Libby in the movies. Um, well, the one movie. Um, and, you know, he's an alright actor, I guess. Um, he played Percy alright. Um, although I'm not a fan of the movie, obviously, but, you know, I'm not, I don't have any problems with Logan Lerman as an actor. Emma Watson, of course, Hermione Granger from Harry Potter, I think she's awesome. Um, only thing I gotta say about her is her American accent during this, uh, trailer. Now, um, the first line she ever says in the trailer, it sounds like a British accent for some, to me, it sounded like a British accent, and I was like, whoa, so she's British in this? And then, you know, she started talking more in the trailer, and I realized, oh, she does American accent. And I really don't know what I think about this American accent. Um, it sounds weird to me, but, you know, I I'm not sure. Um, I think Steven from The Black Couch uh, said the best. It sounds like she's really bland. Like, she doesn't have the range she has when she's using her British accent. Like, for example, like... When you talk in your native accent, if, if that makes sense, you can you do you say all these ex different expressions. You can talk loud, um, quiet, you know, different you know sounds, expressions to express that you're having this feeling or you know emotion. And you know, for Emma, I think she doesn't have that range because the American accent isn't her native uh, accent. So she's kind. Of, she sounds like she's really really restrained, like she's really struggling to make that accent perfect, Except, especially that scene where she's telling Logan Lerman's character to come on to somewhere, to follow her somewhere, it really shows that it's like she's struggling, it sounds like she's struggling, and um, so yeah, I mean she sound. it's like, it's as if like, it's the same thing as if you broke, like you hurt your neck, and your neck's now restrained, and you can't move left or right, you can only move straight, so basically Emma Watson's American accents, accent is just, she can only talk like this way, but she can't, you know, she doesn't, she doesn't sound like she can do other different expressions with the American accent. Now, this is only the first trailer, first teaser, so you never know, you know, I need to see more of more trailers to actually see what I think about Emma Watson's English, American accent, I also need to see the movie also, you know, because you never know, maybe they just happen to show clips of her with her American accent and not it not sounding good, but maybe overall she has a good American accent. You never know, you know. So I need to wait for the more trailers to come out and the actual movie. So overall, you know, I've never read the book like I said before, but it looks like an interesting movie. You know, I don't see anything with Emma Watson in it. I, I'm just being biased here, but you know, I might even check out the book. Like I said, with the Great Gatsby, um, if the trailer makes a person that's never read the book excited for this movie. You know, if it's adapted movie from a book to a movie, then, you know, you're doing something right with the trailer. And I don't know about anyone else, you know, who has never read the book. But for me, I'm actually kind of excited. So, yeah.
So that's it for now. Um, I'm going to start not rating trailers anymore because I just don't feel like that's that great. I'm just going to talk about what I think about the trailers. And yeah, so no rating for trailers anymore. Um, that's it. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next Trailer Box episode or a movie review or another video. Goodbye.